think uh, as a dealer, it's uh, it's very important to really know the boats uh, that we are offering to the clients. And the best way to do it is to spend a, a lot of time uh, at sea. That's how we can gain a real experience. But it's also my passion. Um, we, we, we've created our, our boat dealership uh, because we wanted to do a job that we love. So I think it would have been very sad to put the boat on a cargo. Sometimes you have to. But I think that a sailing catamaran is better sailing by herself than a, on the cargo. Uh, no, actually I did it with uh, my wife and our kids from 2013 to 2015. Uh, but this time it will be shorter because I'm delivering the boat. So we won't spend uh, as much time in the anchorage. It will be more focused on the, uh, on the sailing. Yes, so we are going to leave in about uh, 10 days from uh, Les Sables d'Olonne, where the XS11 uh, is produced. Uh, we will first cross the Bay of Biscay. Uh, that's the part that can be a little bit complex uh, in winter, in January. Uh, and from there, we'll go to the Canary Island, uh, where we will get the trade wind to sail across the Atlantic uh, to the Caribbean, and then from the Caribbean to Panama crossing the Panama Canal, which is a, an amazing experience. Uh, you leave the Atlantic, uh, you know, at, at night, you see the gates closing behind you with the Atlantic Ocean in your back. And the next morning you go into uh, the Pacific Ocean after spending the night uh, on the lake. Um, and once we will be in the Pacific, we will sail from Panama to Polynesia. So in Polynesia, you arrive first at uh, the Marquesas. It's a fantastic experience. It's like real, uh, cliff covered with jungles in the middle of the Pacific and uh, usually you spend three to four weeks at sea when you see them so it's really amazing and then the Tuamulus which are atolls uh, so it's full of, uh, of uh, wildlife you've got all the corals all the fish it's like a really beautiful place I think that's my favorite part of Polynesia and from the Tuamulus we'll go to Tahiti which is the main island It's about 10,000 uh, nautical miles. It's uh, pretty much uh, half uh, way around the world. I've been preparing for uh, about three months when we decided uh, to do uh, the delivery. been helped uh, a lot by uh, Nikki who's my uh, business partner uh, and wife uh, and by all the teams from uh, Excess, uh, the team, uh, the factory but also the, the delivery team um, and from uh, I've got help from Robin Marine who's uh, installed our solar panel and uh, water maker. Um, I focus mostly on uh, gathering the crew and uh, working on the exact uh, weather routing. Um, Nikki has focused more on all the uh, extra equipment that we're going to bring on the boat. Uh, they're going to be cold, you know, coming from Tahiti, it's a big uh, change uh, to be in France. Um, so yeah, it will be cold, but mostly uh, we are going to be uh, very focused. You know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a race, it's for fun, but you still need to prepare uh, very seriously. Um, and mostly looking at the weather for the first leg of the trip, uh, which can be a bit tricky in January. So I'm very focused, obviously. Uh, I'm a bit sad because uh, this time my family won't come with me, so I'm sure I'm gonna miss uh, my wife and my kids and Hopefully they will miss me as well, uh, but I'm getting into that stage where you're really focusing. So, you know, it's, it's not a race, but it's a big crossing. And especially the first part of the Bay of Biscay in January can be a little bit complicated and tricky. Uh, so I'm focusing on the, on the weather and getting into the, the ocean crossing mood. Well, I think you know the, the beauty of uh, those uh, long uh, ocean uh, crossing is once in, you're in the trade wind, it's really downwind. Um, I remember when I was a teenager, I read uh, from Laurent Bourgnon, the famous ocean racer, that uh, 
crossing the Atlantic was like uh, doing a black track on the ski slopes, but for three weeks, not just 10 minutes. Uh, and that's exactly what we are looking for when we go out for those long passages, but a three weeks long downwind run. Uh, so I'm sure with the XS11, it's going to be really fun. You know, I think the, the most important record for me is uh, to keep the boat safe and not damage anything. It's, uh, we're not doing a race. The objective is to arrive uh, safely on the other side with the boat and the crew in good condition. And that actually requires a lot of um, knowledge and, and feelings about the boat. So, so you really understand the interaction between the boat and the ocean, the wind, the waves, and, and you do the right thing to protect it and keep her in good shape. Uh, but obviously I also like to go fast, so I'd like to go a little bit faster than uh, Marco and Lizzie, but they won the arc on their XS11 Morbana, so it's going to be difficult, we'll see. Uh, we might have better trade winds, better established. Um, and then once in the Pacific, I'd like to break the records uh, we had uh, seven years ago. We did uh, 19 days uh, between uh, Galapagos and Marquesas. Uh, so I'd like to do it in 17 or 18 days. I think uh, you've made the right choice of getting an excess, but if you are thinking about it and you have questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the excess lab. Uh, I will try as many things as possible at sea so I can give you uh, an exact and detailed report of uh, how the boat behaves. Uh, so any question you have, any comment, please uh, send them over or via the XS Lab. And if you want to come and sail in uh, French Polynesia, whether uh, on uh, a brand new XS or if you bought one in Europe or the US and you want to sail over, we'll be welcome to meet you there.